So James, the weekend box office has just come out. We're not entirely sure if it includes the Easter Monday results. We're not quite sure how it works over there in America. But we do have the initial normal three day. So I'm just going to say the top four. So in fourth place we have Kung Fu Panda 4 with 10.2 million. Doom Part 2 in third with 11.1 .1 million. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire in second with 15.7 million. And in first place is obviously Godzilla X Kong The New Empire with an 18 million dollar domestic. Worldwide it made a 194 million. And now the MonsterVerse franchise itself has hit 2 billion. So James, mm. with these results, do you see a third Godzilla Kong mashup coming up? And what's your take on the results, obviously? I don't, well? I don't know what that question is, because I think it's very, very <laughs> obvious that, uh, yes, this MonsterVerse is going to continue, whether it's, you know, Godzilla vs. Kong 2, Godzilla X Kong, Godzilla Z Kong, I don't know. There will be another Godzilla Kong Godzilla Y Kong, I'm sure that's the next one if they're continuing the alphabet. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, this one blew all expectations away. I think it was trending towards 50 to 60 million. And I think when we spoke on our review for the film, it was actually um, looking at around 135 million worldwide opening. So we saw it absolutely, you know, blow past that by a significant margin. I think that's a really positive sign for it. And I think there's yeah there's plenty of life despite me not even liking the movie. I think there's plenty of life in this franchise to you know at least be commercially viable for it to actually turn a profit and to be one of those franchises that kind of not immune but they can they can find some sort of you know profit margin in there compared to something where you're seeing like Fast and Furious, Mission Impossible, those kind of long-term franchises start to fall off financially. So, I mean, I'm very, you know, glad that it's done very well. It, it came, came extraordinarily close to Doom Part 2, and when um, the final official figure comes out tomorrow, it could even be ahead of Doom 2, which would be, um, oh, it'd be mixed feelings. Like, I'm always happy when we get good box office, but... I don't want it beating Dune 2. I mean, it's just, uh, it just doesn't make sense in my mind. Um, but the, the second biggest MonsterVerse weekend ever, I think it's, it's very impressive because we've kind of been writing off this uh, franchise, you know, at least for, for a while now, like in terms of just being, you know, not really a heavy hitter. And mind you, it's come second towards um, to the 2014 Godzilla. So that's 10 years ago now. Um, and, you know, with inflation, all that stuff changes. But the fact that it still can't top that one, I think is just, uh, it's, I, I, I don't know. I think this is the ceiling of what the MonsterVerse can be. I don't know if there is an audience for these types of movies where it can become that billion dollar hitter. Um, as for long term um, future in terms of what I see for this specific film, I don't think even though it opened higher than Dune 2 Worldwide, which I think was 183 million, and it's been up by at least 10 million so far. I think it actually, it won't be as high as that movie worldwide, just because I don't feel, I feel like this is one of those movies similar to, you know, Fast and Furious where, or Transformers for that, for that sake, where, you know, it opens very high. All the fans go and see it first time, but it's not rewatchable. Really you know, once you've seen it, you've seen it. I think people, it's going to drop off significantly, 60 to 70% next weekend, and it will close out, you know, from there. But I think potentially if it has some staying power, 200 million is in sight, but I would say around 170 to 180 is probably where I'd be looking at right now. In terms of worldwide, you know, it's, I said 500 to 600 when we did the review before the film came out, I'm going to go a little bit higher and say around 600 to 650. I haven't seen the figures yet for China and that would ultimately uh, change my projection right now. But all in all, this is good news. I don't, I, I didn't like it. I, I don't think you liked it as much either. But what are your thoughts on it making, you know, a monstrous amount? Uh, pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not surprised. I mean, like you said it before, this has become one of those franchises similar to Fast and Furious and mm -hmm. Transformers, where it just makes a load of money and then it just dies down. So they pretty much f uh, funded their next film in like the first couple of weeks okay. so I, w yeah, I was expecting a big number not quite 100 uh, not quite 194 worldwide or even 80 mm -hmm. i was expecting something like 60 or like 130 
like you said, yeah. projections as well. So the fact that this has gone even more high year than our expectations and especially with rotten reviews as well because that came out before the weekend and people still flocked to the cinemas so they clearly mm-hmm. weren't um phased by the critics uh comments or the rt score so to speak so yeah uh, who knows i mean the whole franchise has hit two billion mm-hmm. so that's a big plus for warner brothers because they've been clamoring for a successful franchise for it seems like a decade now Where and they got dune and Europe. And the MonsterVerse now, yeah. Yeah, like, ever since Harry Potter left, like, their, or finished, their, like, main franchise has died. So now that it's nice to see that they've got both Dune and um, uh, mm. the MonsterVerse in here, that's pretty much a lock guaranteed to be successful. And then DC's DC, we'll see what happens there. Um, yeah. So, yeah, in regards to everything else, it's just mm. the stock standard that just um, pretty much made way for this. I'll yeah, we see like what you reckon 30 35 million second week for Godzilla. Yeah, I, th- I think you're banging on the money around that figure. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it's you know more towards 30 million yeah. at the stage. Yeah, I would say, I'd say around something like that. It depends what comes out next weekend if, if there is any like competition for it. Nothing that I can see. Um, Monkey Man, perhaps, but um, you know, like, do you remember when Godzilla vs. Kong came out? It came out at the start of 2021 and it opened to something like 30 million. And dur- that was during the COVID time. And we were like, holy shit, like this is huge. Because everything had been opened up under 10 million, including stuff like you know, Crudes 2, Wonder Woman, um, all that stuff were not doing business because of COVID. So I don't know, my mind immediately goes to the point, okay, so if this franchise can be that huge, I wonder what Godzilla vs. Kong would have made without... COVID. Perhaps a $100 million opening weekend. I think so too because, you know, mm. the whole reason why people went <clears throat> to those movies was to see, you know, an 8 vs. Uh, radioactive lizard for the first time ever. And yeah. So, um, they pretty much, it's, they should have done like a Top Gun and like delayed it by a year. I think if they did mm-hmm. that, then it would have been mega bucks for them. Yeah, well, we always talk about Top Gun or Spider-Man No Way Home being like the saviors of the box office. But I honestly do think, and I've said it from the start, Godzilla vs. Kong and what that box office did, I think it just showed that there was still life in cinemas. Not, I'm not saying it saved it, but it definitely helped. And it, it did, it was part of, it was a major milestone in terms of getting things back to normal at the box office and the movie industry and, and, and whole. So, yeah. Big franchise. For sure, sure, Mm. yeah. 